we are currently in Edson. We're about a little better than halfway to our destination. It's it's later. That's okay. It's not a big deal. We're just stopping here at a and We're trying to figure out what we want to eat and they won't let us go in. So I got to try and pull this trailer that you may or may not be able to see behind the truck. I have to try and pull that through the drive-thru. This is going to be fun. Yeah. And it's raining. And neither dog wanted to pee. And I'm rambling. I made it through the drive-thru. We're all good. We have food in our belly. We are on our way again. Uh, a couple of dogs in the back that are not overly impressed about the length of our drive. But that's okay. We'll be there in less than an hour. We'll get all set up and probably shoot a video in the tent before we go to sleep. We'll see. See how tired we are. So it's 6.30 in the morning, Saturday. Uh, we got in quite late last night, which is okay. Uh, we had to put the tent up in the back of the truck, in the rain, in the dark. <laughs> it, was, it was a bit of a nightmare. Uh, Christina's still sleeping. We had a good sleep. It's tenting, it's a good sleep. I'm letting her sleep for a while, but I just took the dog out for a walk. It's, uh, Peaceful. It's still raining a little bit, hence the rain jacket. Um, somebody over here is desperately wanting some attention. Right, he's desperately wanting attention. <coughs> Trust me, she got attention. Today, we may have to run into town for propane. My propane bottle just, the light went out, but I got propane, so I'm going to throw the stove on it and see if it works. I can live without the light, but we need the stove. <laughs> Okay, that's all for now. So we're all set up, it's almost lunchtime. We're gonna have some hot dogs and then we're gonna go hiking. But uh, let me take you on a little tour around our camp. So we got our little fire pot set up. I brought what was my grandpa's fire pit. Brought that because I knew it, we may not have one and the one here is full of, very full of coals and very wet. Pick the table. And we set up the 10 by 10 gazebo thing, which is awesome. I love this thing. That's coming with us everywhere we go. We got our toilet tent, even though there's, there's toilets here, we're using the tent here just for the middle of the night. We set ourselves up with the propane, with the propane stove, all good to go. I back the truck right up, almost under the gazebo. So that gives us a little bit of privacy when we get out. And then we got all of our stuff in here that I was rearranging and we're going to be probably paring down and getting rid of some stuff that we don't need. And there we go. It is a happy, happy day. Two very happy puppies.
Okay, we are walking Ogre, I think is how you say it. OG, Ogre, O G R E. Ogre, I think it's Ogre. Uh, we're walking that trail today just off the west side of Brule, Alberta. And uh, looks like we walked quite a ways along a, well, it's a road. It's not, not for us to drive on. We had to park at see the town hall here, but it's looking like it's going to be a nice little walk. It's not too hot, it's stopped raining. So off we go. Walking right along close to the tracks here. I'm sure you can hear the train in the background. So far we're still on the road. We're about three three point three kilometers into the trail. We are just trucking along. Should be coming up to the actual into the bush trail shortly. Got our bear spray just in case. Kind of hoping to see deer, moose, elk, something. Not necessarily a bear. Not necessarily. But it's going well. across this camp spot on the trail. Somebody made a lean-to, had a fire. What a great spot. I would definitely camp here. This is nice. Probably somebody quadding. Yeah. Really nice spot. So we made it to the end, the halfway point. It's an out and back, so we're halfway. And we've come to the canyon. And, you know, this is where the water would rush through to meet down with the Athabasca River. And it's bone dry. Of course, it is only May. So it could be a couple, of, maybe a month before the water starts to rush through here.
So somebody's new to the fire pit and has uh, scorched her tail by backing in to the fire. Way to go, Ace. Fire pits are hot. Sunday morning and we are just doing the loop trail around the lake it's only two kilometers just to say we walked around it and then we're gonna do a little bit of exploring soaking wet, soaking wet. We're a little better than halfway around this trail. Look behind me, this has been a really nice walk. If this was a long trail, I'm sure this would be classified as a hard trail because it's basically just a path through the forest. Humps and bumps and lumps everywhere. Walking over trees along the edge of a bank that was just about falling in. But if you ever come out to Kinky Lake, this is a really nice walk. Only take an hour or so, a lot of fun.